Okay, we are going to start off talking about the conservation of energy. Energy is measured in joules, and for this unit, we're going to talk about potential and kinetic energy. The amount of energy before and after an interaction will stay the same because we are talking about the conservation of energy. Potential energy equals the mass times gravity times height, and kinetic energy equals one half mass times velocity squared. Uh, let's move on to the conservation of momentum. Initial momentum will equal the momentum after the interaction. Again, this is why we call it the conservation of momentum. But let's not forget that we call it momentum because the variable is a P. So P equals P prime and momentum equals mass times velocity. Kinetic energy is maintained in an elastic collision, and inelastic collisions lose kinetic energy. And now we have oscillations. Spring potential energy is one half the spring constant times x the distance compressed squared and the period of a mass slash spring os oscillator is 2 pi and the square root of the mass over the spring constant and the period of a pendulum is 2 pi times the square root of the length over gravity Mass does not affect period of a pendulum. It always returns to the position of equilibrium, and velocity is greatest at the point of equilibrium. Gravitational potential turns into kinetic energy when I drop the ball. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Okay, so the first step to solving a uh, free response <clears throat> unit three energy and momentum problem is identifying what type of problem it is. What as, type of problem is this? As you can see, this is a conservation of momentum, momentum. So you write P equals P prime. This question is asking for the speed of the block. So the momentum prior to the collision of the bullet is, the mass is 0.1 kilograms, and the velocity is 200, plus the mass, which is one kilogram, times the velocity, which is zero, cancels that. So 0 0.01 times 200 is equal to both of the masses added together uh, times the velocity, velocity prime. prime. So after you solve for that, you get 2 equals 1.01 V prime. After that, then you divide 1.01, which was both of the masses added together. You divide that over to the 2, which is the result of that, and you get 1.98 meters per second. The next uh, question asks for the change in kinetic energy of the bullet. So the change in kinetic energy equals the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Final kinetic energy will be of the bullet and the block. So kinetic energy's formula is 1 half mv squared. So 1 half mass of the combined objects times the velocity that we just
calculated squared minus the initial kinetic energy, which is that of the bullet. So one half times the mass of the bullet times the velocity squared. After subtracting the two, the difference is negative. The answer is negative 198.02 joules. So that's the amount that the kinetic energy changed. So now C asks to solve for distance x. x. So to do this, you split the problem into x and y components. In the y, the initial velocity is 0. Um, the acceleration is negative 10 due to gravity. And the distance from the top to the bottom is 1 meter, which would be negative 1 meter because it's traveling downwards. And you solve for time. So then you use one of your old kinematic formulas. Which one? One of the kinematic formulas. <laughs> and then substitute your values in. And the answer you get is time equals 0.45 seconds. So with that answer, you can transfer it into the x component where we solve for the displacement. So acceleration is zero because there is no acceleration in that direction, but there is in the y. Um, the initial velocity is 1.98 because that is the initial velocity at this point up here, which we calculated in the first. Um, then you use the same formula that you used for the step that what came before, and then you solve for d, which comes out to be 0.89 meters, which is your answer. So for this one, you solve for time in the y direction, and then substitute the value into the x to find the displacement. Now the speed of the bullet, when it hits the ground, this is a conservation of energy problem which would mean ET equals ET prime so the energy from the beginning there is going to be kinetic energy from the bullet or from the bullet and block so you do the same thing that you did for this one so one half mass of both of them combined times the velocity calculated there squared plus MGH, which is the gravitational potential that the object has due to its height off the ground. You do mass, combined mass, times the gravity, times height, which is one meter, which equals one half mass of the block and bullet times velocity squared. After you get all these values, and you can cancel out the masses because they are all equal, um, then you square root the V to you to both sides, and the answer comes out to be 4.89 meters per second. The final question is now involving spring kinetic energy, and it says that the spring is compressed 0.1 meters, which would be the X value, and you are solving for the K, which is a spring constant, so ET equals ET prime again. Uh, uh, spring formula is one half kx squared. You set that equal to the energy that is produced after it is accelerated, which is one half mv squared. So then you substitute the values. K is still unknown. Point one is the x that was given to us in the question squared equals. Um, well, the one halves actually cancel out because there's one on each side, and then the mass of the bullet is 0 0.01 kilograms. The velocity is 200, which is squared. After you find that answer, which would be an answer, you divide that over to that side, which gives you the answer of the spring constant is 40,000 newton meters. Wow, thanks Sebastian.